Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a test out product from Wish. I recently bought this dry and clean container. This is this here. And it's supposed to dry your brushes and clean them. And it's an automatic brush cleaner. So I watched a video on the real one of these and it looked really good. So I figured I would do a cheap version one. Um, it's supposed to be a fake version of it. It's not the actual one. I bought it for 20, I think $25 with shipping and handling. So I bought it on Wish. So I figured I would give a good old test out. I have a bunch of makeup brushes that need to be cleaned. So I figured I would give it a go. So this is what it looks like when you open the box. And inside here is like the instructions on how, of what you got. All I need is batteries. So I decided I had to grab some batteries. So it says in here, you're supposed to have a neck, a ring, a bowl, um, a, a, a batteries. And then it's supposed to have the spindle, the eight things, and then a base. So let's just see what's in here. So obviously there is the spindle, which is this here. It's got a triangle, I don't know if you can think that, it's got a triangle thing, and then it's got for where the batteries go, and then an on-off switch. And this is the base that you're supposed to be able to put all your, your little brush things that hold them together. So like the little things that hold the brushes in. My neck piece here, and then the ring piece here, which was actually already on here, so I'm just gonna scooch it all the way down. So you're supposed to put it like this all the way down. Inside the bowl are these silicone-y, things so. so they've got the triangles on the bottom and then they've got the triangle pegs here so I can put them on so now that they're all on I don't know if that's where they're all supposed to go but this is what they kind of look like this is for a really fat brush I can't even imagine ever using that but so you can see this one here is meant for really tiny ones and then they've got like different sizes so we'll see how well that works and then it's got this bowl here and this is plastic so which is nice I think the original is glass so this is very quite flimsy, but it doesn't need to be super extravagant if it does what it says. I'm going to put my batteries in, so I'm just going to pop this off. Okay, so it does work. And so what you do is you just hold down this, there's a little tiny button right here, and you just hold it down, and you have to hold it for it to move. Okay, so th there's instructions on it, and it says like how much you're supposed to actually fill it. So I'm just going to put this on. I think it's supposed to suction, oh yeah, just suction cups into it. Okay, so this is gonna look a bit weird because I'm sitting down. So it says that you need to put in some water and some soap, liquid soap. I like to use baby soap to wash my brushes. Weird little hot tip there. It's super, super gentle and it's very nice. And then it makes it nice, smell nice. So this is peachy clean. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in the bowl here. Let's see, that's probably enough. And then I just put some water in a container like this. So I'm supposed to put some water in like so. And because I'm super weird and anal um, about my brushes being super sanitary. I'm just putting in a tiny few drops of alcohol, 70% alcohol, and it's just rubbing alcohol. In makeup school, we had special alcohol that we actually used. This one I use, I always give them a good spurts with my alcohol because if I'm using it on other people, I need my brushes to be very sanitized. So I have a bunch of brushes. I'm gonna start off with this one here and this is a big handle brush. So let's see, I'm just gonna place them in, oh, right here. So this one is the one that fits it the best, just like that, so apparently. So you just do that. Oh, weird, okay. Let's try this. Um. Here we go! The instructions are really crappy. It doesn't say how far away it should be up. So let's just try this. So I'm finding, ooh, nah, yeah, that's not good. Okay, so I'm finding that the best option is, is to actually put it in the water and then just slightly, you're not, you don't want to damage the bottom, right? So it should probably need a little bit more water, but. So I'm finding that this is the best option, just above the water in the soap. Let's see if it dries. It's supposed to dry. That does not make my brushes nice. Well, it is dry-ish. It's not super wet, so that's nice. So I did have to 
smush the brushes back together a tiny little bit. And you can see it's still a little bit pink from my blush. So I'm gonna try it one more time to see. I did add a little bit more water to this. But you can see that the bottom's now actually quite pink. So let's just try this. So it looks a little disgusting when you take it out. Hopefully it's not wrecking my actual brushes. So this is a little bit more damp than the last time. So I think you're supposed to do it for 30 seconds away from the actual thing. So let's try that again. Okay, well, that's pretty, but the good news is, is it is something that I could just mesh together and just place it. It is pretty dry, actually. It's really odd, and this time, because I washed it a few more, like a few more seconds, I did get a lot of the pink off. Let's just try another brush, shall we? So I'm just gonna try this one here. I used it. It's got gems on it, so I don't know how well it's going to work and how well it's going to stay in something. So I'm just literally putting in the brush into them to see if they'll it'll fit. It's a little bit hard to get them in, but if it kind of will help. I really hate cleaning my makeup brushes because it takes so long to do them. It doesn't also say in the instructions how long you're supposed to hold it in for and clean, as well as it doesn't say how long you want to leave the water in there like I don't mean like for the long period of time of all day or whatever but like when you're cleaning the brushes it doesn't say when to switch it out to make sure your brushes are clean I guess when it gets haggardy and gross then okay let's try this one so gonna... so because it's a smaller brush it's a lot easier to move that's what it looks like there it's a little damp but that's really not bad I'm just gonna do it one more time just because I want to, just for some fun. So it, these ones move a lot better. I don't know if you can tell, but they move a lot better in here. Okay, let's try this. So of course, I'm a little concerned about this, but you can just mush it back together. I'm just gonna spray it with some alcohol. I have an alcohol in one of these, and then I'm just gonna spray it a little bit just to wet it down. The alcohol dries really fast, and these are my brushes that I use on myself, so this will help with keeping the, the brushes nice and smooth. So I'm actually gonna try this one here. This I used for one of my Halloween makeups and it has white stuff in it because I was using white face makeup. So let's see how well this one works. This one's very, very dense and like it's a foundation brush, so. It's definitely getting soapy and sudsy. Oh, that cleaned it really good. I don't think there's any white makeup left on here. Oh, that's really good. So it's really good for these brushes. I'm not getting any liquid coming off of it. They're a bit damp, but you know what? That's not gonna bother me. Let's try a few more brushes before I give me a full review. I'm gonna try a blush brush. This one here is a little bit of a problem though because of the handle. It's actually a unicorn brush so I'm gonna have to see if it fits into any of these ones I think if it's into this one for little tiny ones I'm hoping oh yeah I'm just jam it right in there so let's try my blush brush this is quite pink I've used it quite a few times let's see how well I'll get it clean I'm just gonna dense it dunk it a little bit first and then I'm going to hit the button I find that the big brushes are a little bit harder to get really clean With this one, because it's, well, not the real deal, it's from Wish, I find that it doesn't have enough power to really get in in the water. The little ones work a lot better with that. You could hear it bouncing around a little bit. Let's see how well this does. I'm gonna do this for a couple of seconds. Let's see. It doesn't feel like there's soap left in it, which is nice, and it actually really doesn't look dirty. This one's a bit more damp, only because it's such a big brush. But it's really easy just to kind of like go like this and smooth it out. Weirdly enough, sometimes I actually end up leaving a little bit of soap in the brushes when I am doing it myself, when I'm washing it in the sink and stuff like that. So it doesn't 
feel like there's soap left in it, which is nice. Now I'm gonna try this one here. This is my Morphe, my R3, and it looks like this. I use this to contour, so it's a bit fatter here. I don't like that word, but I'm just gonna try to shove it into one of these. There we go. So it's kind of, I'm a little worried about this brush. I really hope nothing happens to it, though. So here's to hoping that nothing happens to it. You can see the water is getting kind of gross, but I'm gonna just try this anyway. I use this for contouring all the time, so this is something that is gonna make the water dirty. So I'm just gonna dunk it a little bit so it's nice and saturated, and then I'm going to hit this button here. Oh, but that one's flying everywhere. This actually moves around pretty decently in the water. It's, I'm not put, putting it, like, it's not touching the bottom. So as long as you're not, like, shoving it into the bottom, like, so you can see right here, like, if I do this, it's not gonna go anywhere. So if it's just sitting above the water, I am, oh, wow. Okay, so it's kind of disfigured a little bit, but it is a lot cleaner than I anticipated. It's a very, very dense brush, so it kind of mangled the brushes a teeny weeny little bit, but it's not something that I can't fix. I'm gonna try this one more time with this brush, see how that goes. And I'm kind of holding it because it's a little harder. This would be easier to do like just when you're doing it on a thing, but because I'm holding it up, I'm trying to just make sure that my finger is in it. That mangled it. Okay, so you know what? That's not bad. It didn't actually wreck the brush, so that's nice. The bristles are a bit mangled right in here, but maybe I just won't use it for these brushes. I'm going to try using this for my travel brushes. So let's try. This one has got gems on it, so it always tends to be a little bit bigger. Oh, that worked really well. Mm, smells nice and clean. It kind of, this one kind of slides out a little bit of this one because it's in between the two sizes, but it cleaned it really well. So that's awesome. I'm gonna try a few more eyeshadow brushes. Apparently this whole thing just came out of here, so I might just need to glue that in. Oh, apparently it comes out. Okay, well that's nice. This brush is a nice dense flat brush. Let's see how well these ones work. Oh yeah, okay, so it's a bit wet, but it's not too bad. Try this one. Well, that just happened. Okay, so maybe you get the real one <laughs> and not the fake one. Also, in conclusion, it's not actually a bad one. This one is from Wish, and it's not too bad, but I would be careful with this part coming out right here. But anyway, so actually, I would give it my stamp of approval. It doesn't work for all brushes, but it does work pretty decently if you're like me and absolutely hate washing your brushes. I don't condone buying things that aren't the actual brand, but if you can't afford to buy the actual one, then the Wish one isn't actually too bad. Are the brushes that I cleaned and they're all pretty much dry now. All right, well, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.